People don't think I'm fast. Bitch. I'm 300 subscribers deep in this hoe. Fuck you mean I'm not fast. gentlemen welcome back to a brand new vlog this is possibly the hardest vlog I've had to make not because of the effort I put into it but because of the things that I'm going to say today before I continue let me go ahead and do this now I want to say that this video is gonna be completely different from everything I've been putting out these past few weeks I also want to say thank you to everybody who has liked the video who's subscribed to the channel who's left comments thank you for even coming to this video and leaving a like or a dislike you've taken time out of your day to leave an opinion of yours and I welcome any and all opinions whatsoever I, I don't mind that I thank everybody for the support I thank everybody for being patient with this video this is not a video I'm very proud of making. This is not a video I wanted to even put out. I have literally spent the entirety of last week and today making this video. Not because of the effort I put into this, as I said, it's because of the things I'm going to say. So basically, the topic of today's video is why I haven't been uploading what's been going on and really just being able to open up to the audience as most of you may or may not know it's a life's dream of mine to pursue a career on this platform entertaining people is my life's dream there's nothing else that I like doing than just talking communicating and being able to make somebody happy and because it is a dream of mine I hope that this message transcends onto you, the viewer, that I'm going to pursue this dream to the extent where nobody and nothing will get in the way of it. Because my audience is very much around my age. I'm 19 and I'm sure that everybody else is a teenager watching this video. If not, you're an adult. You're an adult that is also feeling as if everybody around you is telling you how you should live your life. And that's fine to take advice. But there's also times when people are guiding you into living a life that they want for you. And it's either you pick that you live the life you want for yourself or you live the life people are pushing you or leading you into. And whatever you choose is fine because at the end of the day, we all live once and we all decide what path we take. I hope, as I said, that this message transcends onto you, that you lead and follow your dreams to the extent where nobody and nothing is gonna get in the way of that. And now, the thing that I've been putting off for the longest, the reason why I haven't been uploading this video is simply because I have something to say. I have something to announce. I have something to confess. I really don't know what to call it, so I just said all those things so you guys can kind of understand where I'm coming from. Basically, what is happening is that the house that I've been living in, this house that I've been living in for the past year, I will no longer be living here. I, along with my family, have been evicted from this house. We have a few days until we until we have to move out, until the constable comes and they remove all of our belongings and they just throw it out into the yard. To the people who heard that, 
and may think that's not a big deal. You shouldn't be tripping as you are. You shouldn't be putting off your videos. But if you watch my videos and if you've seen my videos, you realize and you see the amount of energy and the effort I put into them. I take days filming these videos alongside friends who help me make them. I take days in filming and I take days in editing and maybe it's not the best, but I try to make it as fun as I can so that whoever watches it enjoys it. And with the news of having to move out of this house, I've had no energy. I've been feeling so bad. I've, I've been feeling so defeated. I've been feeling like The entirety of this year has like challenged me so much. And I think with the news of having to move, it's just been my breaking point. It's really shaking me up to this point where I just feel like I'm just so numb to the, to the whole thing, to everything. I don't want this video to be something that people watch and they feel bad for me. I want people to understand what's happening. Because as I said, like I put so much effort in these videos and when I feel like I can't put the effort that I want into them, I can't make one. I can't upload one. Because it's fake, it's not genuine, it's not real. I think also what um what's really something that's itching me. For most of you who may or may not know, I have a pet. His name is Friday, it's a black dog. If you've lived in my street, he may have bitten you because he was out wandering the street. He may have bitten you, he may have barked at you, he may have chased you. But that dog means so much to me. And where we're moving to, they don't allow pets. And I still haven't found an... I still haven't found somebody who can take care of him. And I'm really running out of time and I'm running out of options and I don't know who to give him to because he's very hostile with everybody. Not friendly with strangers. It takes time for him to build trust with people because we found him on the streets. He's a street dog. He's just so used to that mentality that being on the street, anybody who came around him might have mistreated him. I don't know. So whenever he meets somebody new, he may feel like he's about to be attacked. So he tries to defend himself. And because of that, people may not want him in their house. And it's just so much more of those kind of things that I'm not going to get into that really just set me off. So many other things outside of this that are happening that I have no control over. And I don't understand why they're happening. I don't know why I'm being put through these things. But I'm going to take everything to heart. I'm going to let this mold me and make me into the best so I know what it can be. Because I'm not meant for this. I know where I'm going in life and I know what I want out of it. And I know that these challenges will, will come here and there and they will test me harder than this and they will push me harder than this and they will hurt me harder than this. But at the moment, this is the most hardest thing that I've had to deal with. 
when I had to let go of a place I call home. I have to let go of a pet. Everywhere I go, that pet follows. And he's so loyal and he's so nice, he's so friendly, at least to me. And you build a bond with your pet and having to let go of them. I still haven't done that and I still won't do it, but if the time comes and I have to, I don't know how I'll be able to cope with that. I look back and I remember everything I did in here. And as far as everybody who's been in this house, anybody I've allowed in this house, thank you so much for being a part of this memory because because it's so hard to let go of, but it's so, it was so amazing while it lasted. As I said, I don't want people watching this video to pity me. I don't want them to feel bad for me. I want them to understand what's going on. And I don't have to be public about this. I don't have to do all that. But like I said, I want to pursue a career in this platform. I want to make something out of this. And I want to dedicate myself to these videos because I promise that. Because I want to live out a dream. I want to live the life that I'm meant for. And that's what I want. I hope everybody watched the entirety of this thing. If you didn't, that's fine. I understand it might be longer than usual. I usually like to make my videos less than five minutes. Um, and I'm sorry about that. I'll, I'll edit it as best as I can. Hopefully this will be up on Friday or whatever day I decide to put it up maybe maybe I'll upload this whenever I move but for right now I think I'm just gonna edit and continue to pack as I've been doing and yeah um thank you all so much for being patient thank you for liking and subscribing to to me these past few weeks it's incredible to see how many people message me and, and leave comments saying that they enjoy these videos or, or even leave like any kind of comment really. I, I really appreciate that. Thank you all so very much for taking the time to visit my channel. Take time out of your day to come and watch this. And um, yeah, that's, that's all I've had to say. Thank you.